Today I will taught you one of the most easy and simple abstract background animation tutorial on our channel Think Sci-Fi. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start by deleting the cube, then add a plane and scale it. Press 7 for the top view, then press Ctrl Alt 0 to set your camera to the view. Now select your camera and reduce its focal length in camera setting, then play with its Z location. Press 0 for camera view. Now select the plane and go to edit mode by pressing tab key, mouse right click and apply subdivision. Increase its number of cuts, I am selecting 50. Now click on the upper left side of the plane. This will select one vertex. Now press and hold the shift key and select all the three corners. Select some more vertex from all the four sides by pressing and holding shift key. After selecting go to object data property in vertex group click the plus sign then click assign. This will assign all the vertex you have selected to this group. Now come back to object mode by pressing tab key then reduce the timeline to 150 then go to physics property and apply cloth to the plane. Scroll down and in shape pin group select the group name which you have assigned all those vertex and in cast select the end frame equal to your timeline. Now see the magic. When you play the animation, you can see the cloth is hanging from all this point which you have selected in the edit mode and assign with the group. Now go to physics property and apply subdivision. Increase its level viewport and render. Then add solidify modifier and play with its thickness. Add a Bezier curve to this scene. Hide the plane for some time. Now again go to edit mode by pressing tab key and delete one point of the Bezier curve by pressing X key. Stay in camera view position by pressing 0. Now select the remaining Bezier curve. Move it to the bottom left portion of the camera. From here we will create some random shape. You can create whatever you want. You can create the shape with the help of E to extrude the curve then R to rotate the curve point. With the help of these two key E and R you have to create a random shape within the camera view. I will meet you after creating the shape with the help of curve. This is my shape. Click A to select all then press tab key again to come to object mode then move this curve in Z and Y location. Now we will add turbulence force field by pressing shift A then go to object constraint property and select follow path here. In follow path target select Bezier curve. Now you can see the turbulence has come to the start point of the Bezier curve. Now at frame 1 enter keyframe in follow path offset go to frame 151 and in offset enter minus 101 and again enter keyframe. This will move the turbulence through the shape of Bezier curve. Now select the turbulence and at, and at frame 1 enter keyframe in rotation then go to the frame 151 enter 360 in rotation x minus 360 in y and 360 in z then again enter keyframe. Now go to physics property and increase the increase the strength value of turbulence up to 19,000. Now unhide the plane and play the animation. You can see the magic. When you reduce the strength up to zero, you can see the cloth is still and when you increase it, the magic will start. Select the camera, go to the camera setting, viewport display and in passport increase it because we have to only focus within the camera view. You can add as many as turbulence you can want. By pressing shift A, move this turbulence to the upper left part of the camera view. Then go to the physics property and increase the strength. We only want this turbulence to affect within a certain part of cloth only. For that scroll down and enable minimum and maximum distance. Increase minimum and maximum distance value 
up to the area where you want the effect of turbulence. Press 7 for the top view and make a duplicate of this turbulence by pressing shift D and set it to the bottom right part of the camera. Adjust both the turbulence in the Z location. Now see all the three turbulence are adding some random motion to the cloth. Now go to modifier setting and add a displacement modifier. Click new and play with the strength value. Click this button, this will move you to the texture property. Select cloud in type. Press 0 to see it from the camera view. Then select hard in type and mouse right click, select shade smooth. Play with the size. Then select color and enable color wrap. Now play with the color wrap by adding some handles by pressing plus sign this is the place where you will get your background texture so play with the color wrap and all the values of texture and also play with the strength of displacement i know all my exact value that's why i am selecting too quick but you have to spend some time with all these values you can also increase your subdivision surface values if your computer can handle it otherwise do it just before you render your animation you have to spend some time with the color wrap by adding subtracting and moving the handles for the best possible result meanwhile if my tutorials are helping you and you want me to upload tutorial continuously, please support me on Patreon. Membership starts with $2. Now go to material setting and apply a material to the cloth. Select a base color, whatever you want and increase the roughness little bit. You can try any other material also. Go to render view and decrease the world completely black you can go with this lighting also for make changes in the lighting go to the lighting setting here you can play with the power and radius also and also with the color lighting will play the most important role in your animation to saw that hide this lighting by clicking camera and eye icon then add a sun to the scene Press 0 for the camera view, then go to object property and rotate your sun in the multiple direction. Now you can observe that every rotation are providing some different and intense look to your scene because of the shadow formation. So you can spend some time and choose the right spot for your animation. But for this simplicity, I will hide this sun also by clicking both eye and camera icon. Now I will add a aerial light to the scene and move it on the Z location. Then go to the light setting and increase the power and select disk in the shape. Go to object property and scale the area light. This will soften your light intensity. You can also play with the size of the light in light setting. All done. Go to render property and enable all the three option then go to color management and in look select high contrast now select the plane and go to object property we will play with some cloth values in quality steps select 10 speed select 1.4 select 3 in banding 50 in damping shear and compression then in collusion enable self collusion and also increase the quality to and also increase the quality to 10 and if you are satisfied with your cloth animation and values then bake your cloth
after baking also you can edit your cloth texture by going to texture property do a render image to see everything is correct or not but if you want to change cloth values then you have to delete the bake make the changes then again bake the animation now to render it go to output property change your frame rate if you want select your location and name in file format select ffmpeg then in encoding container select mpeg4 then in output quality select perceptual lossless or high quality then render render animation and if you are interested in learning how to move your cloth on the curve then check the right video thank you very much for watching